Hey everybody, Charles Hoskinson here. Uh, I wanted to make a brief video to talk a little bit about show bounties. How about that? Show bounties. So I was watching uh, the Cardano Effect today, and I said, "Wow, this is just such a great public. This is such a great podcast, and uh, it's one of the best investments uh, we ever made to get started." And uh, you know, we put in the initial money and pulled some people together who had already been doing content like it. The foundation took it over, and uh, probably in short order, uh, the DC fund is going to start funding them, depending upon community voting. And uh, the Cardano effect really fulfills a nice niche in the Cardano ecosystem of general, well-vetted information and a great place for announcements and uh, topical uh, content uh, for uh, show to show. But uh, there needs to be some specialized podcasts in our industry. In particular, it would be really cool to have one for uh, DAP development, DAPs and assets, something like uh, all about Plutus and Marlow, as well as functional programming in general. It would be really cool to have a show that highly specializes on trading and markets, And be clear, not a show that says, hey, this asset's going up or this asset's going down, uh, but rather how technical analysis works and uh, how quants think and so forth. Uh, it'd be really, really cool to have a uh, podcast specifically on projects, use, and utility. So, for example, uh, Floss Weekly is a great podcast on the Twit network, and they cover an open source project every week. And it's a really nice podcast to listen to to get a sense of who's doing what where. So the difference between the dApps and assets uh, kind of technical podcast would be uh, a format example would be every week uh, they do a tutorial, like this is how you issue an asset on Cardano, or this is how you build uh, this type of DAP on Cardano, or something like that. Or these are the, the uh, design patterns that we use and so forth. Whereas the use and utility uh, podcast would be all about saying, hey, this is Bob, and Bob has uh, Bobcoin, and Bobcoin is issued on Cardano. Uh, Bob pitched the community what this is all about and what value you bring and why you did what you did and so forth. So as we get more use and utility, more developers, there's going to be a lot of feedstock there, probably more than a weekly format can hold. Uh, so I think it's good to get started now. Uh, there's a huge demand for trading and markets. And actually at IOHK, we actually have a quant. And what would be super cool is to open source uh, some of our models. and talk around how we view data, markets, and these types of things. Uh, and I think there's a, a lot of room for uh, somewhat technical but pedagogical content on how trading is done, how markets operate, and so forth. So like the Cardano effect, uh, in addition to suggesting these, I'm prepared to pay for these. So if anybody wants to set up one of these, I'm going to set aside 15K each as a grant to get a podcast ready to go uh, with a condition up to 15K if paid by DC fund. So if you're willing to go through the DC fund process and you get up to 15K from the DC fund, I'll match it. So this gives an incentive to go through the DC fund process and have the community decide whether this uh, show and the people behind it are good and qualified. And to show my support behind that, I'll throw another 15K in. So if you want to start one of these things, you could be looking at $30,000 of potential funding uh, to get it all ready to go. And I guarantee you the content will be quite successful because we're a very rapidly growing ecosystem. Uh, so the, the DC fund will probably pay far more 
the next round. And then you'll be able to get sponsors and advertising and uh, these types of things. And perhaps the Cardano Foundation would like to throw some money in as well. But my goal is just get these things bootstrapped. I'd love to have a show where every week people build something a show where we talk about really the deep technicals of trading from psychology to models and so forth and how these markets work, where to get good data streams, how the code looks and so forth. And then uh, topical uh, specifically to use and utilities. So the app of the week, this kind of a deal. And this is not meant to replace the Cardano effect, but rather to be complementary content. So these things would run in parallel because, uh, you know, the reality is there's always something going on, something interesting to talk about, but they're not exactly on the Cardano effect sitting down uh, with a terminal open showing you how to write a Plutus application. And that's not the point of that programming. And uh, they're probably not there to give uh, deep and detailed uh, discussion about financial modeling and things like that. And they're not there to uh, showcase the app of the week. Occasionally they do do that because it's the only platform for it. But there needs to be a specialized forum for these types of things. And I think the Floss Weekly format is a really good format with, uh, with that team. They've been talking about open source projects for a long time. Uh, and then it allowed the Cardano effect to, uh, to be a more diverse kind of weekly information program. Uh, so if you think you can do this, if you want to do this, I'd encourage you to start thinking about how to apply for the DC fund. Uh, the first ballot... Uh, is coming online pretty soon. It's called uh, Fund 2. And there's about a quarter million dollars of funding available. Uh, so your price range would be around 15K, up to 15K. Ask for what you need, and we'll match it up to 15K if you get it. And uh, these are the three formats that I'm very interested in. And in terms of support, we will provide if you get funded. On the build side, we'll make the Bluetooth team available for certain episodes here and there. Uh, on the trading side, we'll see what we can do about open sourcing some of our knowledge about because we are building models to gain greater understanding about how these markets work. And it'd be really cool to look at this as an academic experiment as much as it is a trading experiment. And then on the use and utility, uh, obviously, we're going to feedstock some projects into that. For example, the ERC-20 converter is an example of that. So... Uh, when that's done, the team that builds that, we would love them to go on that show and actually demo how the ERC-20 converter works and what it took to build it and so forth. I think having these around are the next kind of generation of content for our ecosystem. And it shows the diversity. So, you know, you kind of start from one. And then there are four. And then from there... There'll be sub shows that come off. And then eventually you have a whole network and every week, hundreds of hours of content coming out over time, just like the Ethereum guys do and all these other guys do. But you have to start somewhere. And it's about time we put our money where our mouth is. So I'd love to see the DC fund fund some of these things and uh, IO Global will do what it can to help. So if you have anything in these content categories and you pass through the DC fund, Raising up to 15K, we'll match it. Uh, of course, there'll be some legal disclaimers and other things. Uh, yeah. So uh, we'll figure out the exact wording and all that stuff about the matching. So uh, subject to Charles' approval. Yeah, so if you, you have something like uh, the, the Plutus Adventure with Springtime with Hitler... I reserve the right not to uh, to give you money. <laughs> Use common sense. I'm not a lawyer, but you, you get you get the idea. Uh, we're here to help grow the ecosystem, but within reason. Uh, so uh, so anyway, that's why I think the DC fund will be a nice little filter. And uh, this is happening October, I think. So door garbage. Uh, he'll uh, uh, let you guys know more about when exactly that's starting. But I think it's a great vetting phase and. Uh, there's a lot of room for this. So any person who wants to do something like this, thinks they'd be good in this type of a format, uh, do, uh, do, do submit something to DC Fund. And hopefully through that innovation management process, it'll help refine the concept to a point where it becomes a very approachable show. And I think for about 30 grand, that's a really good starting point to help you work part-time for a year 
uh, to kind of build up this content base and take it very seriously. And if it's successful and there's some momentum, obviously more funding will be available. And also you'll get a great audience that you can draw from. So that's a quick thought. I'd love to see the ecosystem uh, grow and evolve. And I think this is one of the next steps in doing that. Uh, it doesn't have to be significant, but big things have little beginnings, as we learn from Prometheus. Till next time, take care, my friends.